my shoulder. Here, take it easy. Hey, Sam, get Tom Stone. Young Pete's hurt yourself. Hey, Tom. Hello? Young Pete's hurt. Okay, coming. Let's have a look, son. Yes, shoulder dislocation. Hurting? No. Not much, anyway. Just see if you can raise that arm. So, right? Hello, Stone. Anything wrong? Yes, Tom. I'd like to have a little chat about that leg of yours. Well, it's a big responsibility. To you or to me? What if there was an accident on one of our trawlers and you got hurt? We'd have to pay. The insurance company won't take it. There hasn't been an accident yet, has there? What if it was dirty weather? What if you tried to cross the deck in a gale? All right, I'll say it for you. I'm fired. It was all right when the shortage was on, but now that the pit men are coming back, I'm not wanted. Is that but it? the company... Forget the company. Tom, if there's a sure job going, we... This is the only job I know. Good day, Mr. Johnson. Tom. Morning, Mrs. Dukes. Good catch? Not much. Oh, dear, dear. Better luck next time. Here's your scarf, Tom. And many thanks for what you did for my boy. Oh, uh, that's all right, Andrew. How is he? Resting his arm? No, he's off to meet his girl. Lucky it wasn't both arms, huh? Lucky you was aboard, Tom. Bit of a jack of all trades, huh? Master of none. Uh, I don't know so much. Isn't everybody can do what you can do, set in bones and things? Mostly common sense. Once you know how the bones fit, cigarette. No, thanks. Where did you learn? Oh, books, knocking around the world, watching other people. You know, Andrew, these bodies of ours are pretty wonderful. Nearly every piece of machinery is copied on it. Never saw of that. Now, take a, take a bridge, for instance. It's built like the arch of your foot for carrying weight. Or the, um, the crankshaft of an engine, like your elbow and shoulder joints. They're the same way. Hmm. Yeah. I see. Now, there's something more in it than that. It's a sort of touch you've got. You must have green fingers. Green fingers? Yes, most gardeners have. Everything they touch is just grows. Like fishermen stories, huh? <laughs> what about your own leg? Why can't you cure that? That's different. It's a bullet wound. I suppose you've heard. What? I got the sack today on account of this. You got the sack on the kit? Well, that's a rotten shame. Yeah, next time somebody's injured at sea, they'll be wanting you. Well, that's their lookout. Can nothing be done with that? 
Nope, I've got it for life. <laughs> That's what they told old Albert Goodman in the last war about his elbow. Now listen to it. Ring in tenor as good as the next man. Here, why don't you come up and have a chat to him? That'd be an idea. Although I don't suppose it'd do much good. Oh, it's worth a try. Have you ever seen them ringing? No, I haven't. Oh, it's interesting. Come on. Hmm, what about your leg going up all them steps? There's only 199 of Ben. Had a good trip, Tom? So, so, thanks. <laughs> what have you been ringing? Oh, Grand Sir Triples. Warm work. Yes, and hard work too, eh, Albert? Hmm? Oh, good for you. Fine exercise. Oils your joints. Joints. <laughs> Hear that, Tom? Yes. Andrew tells me you once had a lot of trouble with your elbow. Well, there was a time when I couldn't bend it. But look at it now, eh? Sound as a bell. There's nothing wrong with that, eh? <laughs> no. Doesn't seem to be. Is that the scar? Yeah. Same as mine, bullet wound. Oh, the doctor said I was crippled for life. There you are, what did I tell you? Not much of a cripple now, eh? What's his name? A fellow called Booth. Booth? Where's he live? He lives in London. Right in the middle of the Harley Street toss, like a thorn in their flesh. <laughs> <laughs> did it cost you much? No, he's pretty reasonable for the likes of us. Hmm. Harley Street, huh? Hmm. It's been a fracture of torn muscles and tendons. The fracture's healed, but there's still some minor bone dislocation and some adhesions. Now then, going up, son. This shouldn't take long. It's all over. You can get down now. What? Is that all? Yes, that's all. Come along, don't be afraid. Let your weight down. And go and put your shoe on. Hmm. You don't trust me? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, the best advice I can give you is to use it as much as you can. Don't be afraid. Walk over all the roughest ground you can find. Do you good. Okay, Mr. Booth. I'll try. And if you don't feel happy, come back and see me again. How much do I owe you, sir? Well, I'll send the account on. Whitby, isn't it? That's right. And give my regards to Mr... Albert Goodman? Goodman, that's it. <laughs> right, sir, I will. Good day. Good day.
Well, if it's gone, I, I can walk like I used to. Surprised? I want to be an osteopath, too, Mr. Booth. Who? Oh? Why? I'm not sure it isn't what I've always wanted to be. But you didn't know what it meant until you asked me just now? No, but it's in my hands. I know it. What makes you think that? Well, I know a bit myself. It's been a kind of hobby. I can put a joint in place, and if anything's broken, I... Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Booth. It can't sound much to you. So you want to be an osteopath? Yes, sir. How can I learn? Well, you can apply at the academy. It doesn't follow that they'll accept you. Why? Close shop? No. Then what's the difficulty? To become fully qualified needs years of hard work. Well, I'm used to that, sir. Needs money, too. Well, I've saved a bit. I, I could find a job. Yes, it's not a correspondence course. You can't earn osteopathy in your spare time. We drive you. We make no allowances for you. I'm not asking for any, sir. You seem to know what you want. Yes, sir, I do. Sit down. You say you've had some experience of bones and muscles. Where did you pick it up? Well, I was in Newfoundland before the war, on the fishing banks. There was no doctor. There were some things we had to know. How do you treat a compound fracture of the thigh? Uh, clean it first, put on the dressings, uh, and then ease the bones by pulling gently beyond the fracture. Why? And to prevent shortening and stop the bones from grating together. And what's the danger of a simple fracture of the leg? The broken bone piercing the skin. Let's have a look at your hands. Take my arm and feel the wrist joint. You broke that one, sir. All right, sir. I'll bring your name before the faculty at the next meeting. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Mind you, I can't promise that they'll accept you. There are certain formalities. No, sir, I quite understand. And come and see me again in about a week's time. Yes, sir, I will. Stone. Yes, sir. There's no need to limp. Oh, sorry, sir. This is a bad habit. All right. Now, Wilson. What's the name of that bird? First dorsal, sir. No. Stone? Seventh cervical. All right. And this one? Fibulous. All right. I'm using short leverage from the elbow, not the wrist. Never use unnecessary force. Avoid injury. Your grip should be firm, but not hard, using traction all the time. find a cheaper place. Well, I had a chat with the wife today. We've got a spare room at home. She wouldn't skin you if you'd like to try it. Yes, I would. But there's uh, one thing, Tom. What's that? Well, my girl's an invalid. She's trouble with her back. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, well, you call around and see us tomorrow when you've uh, finished playing with your skeletons. Good night, Tom. Good night, Miss Mantle. Before next Monday, I want all second-year students to make themselves familiar with uh, lecture 15 in Hazard. All right, second-year students, go. First-year students, stay. All right, Tom, I'll take over now. What's the time? Past midnight. Now I'm going to give this job up, Wooly. What, getting it down? No, it's not too good for my hands. Why don't you get an easier job? i got to make some money. It's OK. The less you do these days, the more you make. All right, you tell me how. They wanted a night watchman at Pritchard's. Why don't you take it? It's easy. I had it. But the missus got lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it over here. Now, these 
raise the legs of a child, how old should you say? About eight years old, sir. No less, six. You can tell by the epiphyses. The ends of the bones not fully formed, still soft. What's wrong with this child? Not need, sir. What's the cure? Adjustment of the pelvis, leg exercises. Right. you going to turn in? No, exams next week. Must do some work. Mm. Principles of osteopathy. The origin of the eight cervical nerves corresponds to intervals between... Oh, I give it up. How's the job going? Which one? Night or day? Oh, not the bony one. Doing your rounds regularly? No. Last night I missed one. Sleep? Well, I was, uh, reading and I, uh... I know, I know. Sacked. Hmm. Mm. Well, what are you going to do now? Find something else. Now, why don't you rest up for a bit? If you go on at this rate, you'll need your bone seen to. No, I must make some money. I'm in my third year now. Not so long to go. Look, Tom, if the rent's worrying you... Well, thanks, Joe, but I've got to find another job. More night work? It has to be. Here. Oh, man. No, 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 not that way, underneath. <coughs> That's right. Now then, for easy money, if you're not too particular, there's nothing to beat it. I know an Edward who might be able to, uh, yeah, walk around a bit. That's it. Waiter, glass of champagne. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Over to this chair, shall we? Excuse me, have you hurt your knee, madam? Yes, I think I've wrenched it. Well, perhaps I can help you. Uh, what do you imagine you can do? Well, I know a bit about these sort of things, sir. Uh, is that where it hurts? Yeah. I can put it right for you if you wish. If there's anything wrong, madam needs a doctor, not a belly amateur. I've already told you, George, I don't want a doctor. It's a displaced cartilage, sir. It should be put right immediately. Excuse me. I say, how do you know all about this? I'm at the Academy of Osteopathy, sir. Then, what are you doing here as a waiter? Earning money to learn my profession. Oh, I see. May I try, madam? It's up to you, Alex. It won't take a second. Go on, hmm? Don't be frightened. Get a hurry, click. Yeah, it's all over. Hurt much? <laughs> Not as much as I thought it would. Can I use it now? Yes, you can dance on it if you wish. Wonderful. What's your name? Stone, madam. Thomas Stone. Oh. Oh, thank you very much. Well, thank you, madam. 
Hmm. Interesting. Good morning, Tom. Good night, Harry. What's the matter, Tom? Oh, nothing. I just thought I heard you call, that's all. I didn't call. Oh, I'm sorry. I heard you come in, Tom. They do keep you late, don't they? Yes, sir. Been a bother with a West End playgirl and her boyfriend. Oh, just listen to the birds, Tom. Listen to them. Yes, it's a, a grand day, Jeannie. Oh, lovely. Is your back hurting you, Jeannie? No, Tom, it's all right. Did the doctor come yesterday? Yes, he came. Would you like your breakfast? Yes, please. Okay. I'll get it. Morning, Tom. Your breakfast's ready. Morning, John. Morning, Tom. I've just seen Ginny. Yes, Tom. What did the doctor say? Nothing to her, but she knows. And what did he tell you? He said there's nothing can be done. Why did he say what it was? Sciatic hernia. And she'll never be able to walk again. After all, it's been done. I don't know what time Ginny gets worse and worse. All right, I know. Yes, worse and worse. More and more pain. Now they say it's sciatic hernia, whatever that is. Nothing more to be done. So you think you know more than the doctors? No, but I think I know something they don't know. Or don't want to know, Tom. Exactly. Look, let me take her to Mr. Booth. Personally, I wish you would. I can't see that there'd be any harm done. No, but I can. I'll have no quack laying his hands on my girl. He cured me, Joe. Two wrongs don't make a right. He's curing people every day. Then he ought to be locked up. Now, Joe, Tom's only thinking of Jeannie. And so am I. I've been warned about these blokes. As for you, you ought to have more sense wasting your time on that sort of thing. Black magic. Black or white, it works. If the doctors can't do nothing, nobody can. Shall I take the tray up, Mrs. Manson? Please, Tom. I'm taking Jeannie out after breakfast. Where? Where? Touch the park, that's all.
rest, Tom. Okay, Skipper. You shouldn't have brought me today. Why not? You ought to be resting. You know you ought. Oh, I'm all right. I don't know how you do it, working night and day. If you go on like this, you'll crack up. Mm, not me. Do you know why? Because I love my work. It's so interesting, Jeannie. You have no idea how wonderful osteopathy is. Is it, Tom? You've been listening to your father. <laughs> you know what that is, old-fashioned. Jeannie, do you trust me? Of course. Look, I'd sooner kill myself than do you any harm. But I believe, in spite of anything your father or the doctors say, I believe I can cure you and make you walk again. I believe that with all my heart, Jeannie. Will you let me try? What does it mean, Tom? First, it means patience. Weeks, even months of patience. It may mean pain, too, Jeannie. But no more than you've been going through already. And most of all, it means faith. 100% faith in these hands, Jeannie. Will you let me try? Will you? My girl alone. It's all right. The pig. He had no right. I know I've broken my promise, Joe. And I'm sorry. If you've harmed my girl. Take your weight on your feet. Stand up. Tom, be careful. I know what I'm doing. Jeannie, take no notice. Now walk, Jeannie. Jeannie. 